We're going to be repainting this black and if you can tell it's pretty beat up like there's stains there and there's a whole bunch of stains in here and plus it just doesn't match the aesthetic of the house. I am currently um, furnishing. First step is take everything off. So normally when you're taking out the shelf brackets you can just pull them out but these were actually screwed in and they were not coming out so i was just destroying them by hammering them out so here i'm using my random orbital sander and i started off with the 120 grit sandpaper and then wiped everything down and then went back in with the 220 grit sandpaper um always remember you always start down start with the lowest number sandpaper and work your way up so pretty much that means you always start with the coarsest sandpaper and work your way up to the finest sandpaper. So pretty much the more fine it is, the more soft and polished look it will have. Okay, so the next step is to tape up the parts that you don't want to get paint on. And for me, it's the glass here. So I'm just taping the edge because that's where the most paint will get. Um, the more professional thing to do is tape all of the glass, but I'm lazy and don't want to waste tape, so yeah. Um, but anyways, because it's just glass, if I do accidentally get paint in the middle, I can just scrape it off. So once I finish putting the tape on, I can get into actually priming and painting, and I'm going to be using a roller to apply my paint and primer. Always grab tape and do this before you start using it because you don't want all these particles sticking in the paint. You don't want that getting stuck in the paint. I'm gonna do one more round of that just to make sure. This is the primer I'm using. Don't forget to mix it up. I'm just using a drill bit to mix it up because I don't have those wood sticks with me. So if I was reselling this piece, um, I would have completely replaced the back pieces. Um, it actually probably would have been easier and it just would look perfect. Um, but since I'm not selling it, it doesn't need to look perfect. And I just try not to waste materials as often as I can. So I, the fact that I could refurbish this back piece, why not? So I'm going to repaint it and then try and fill those holes. So now I'm actually going back into the corners with a paintbrush, um, pretty much anywhere that the roller wouldn't go. Um, and I'm gonna link down below the paintbrush that I'm using because I absolutely love it. I'm gonna try and cover those holes. I'm not sure how I'm gonna cover them yet, but we'll figure it out. Okay, starting to paint. So I'm gonna do three coats of paint total um, while giving it time to dry between coats. Um, but besides that, it's the same process as putting primer on, so I'm just gonna skip past this. Right now we're flipping all of the shelves over and doing the other side. And let's see if on this one, the paint kind of ran down and it left kind of a whatever you call that. But to get rid of that, we can just lightly sand it off and then paint the side. Now it's all flat, so now we can go ahead and start painting. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we're gonna fix the problem with the backing. Okay, I have a whole bunch of just regular nails that I'm just gonna use to put this backing back in. So I kinda came up with a funny solution to um, cover those holes, and I am just gonna tape it and then tape the paint black or paint the tape black so you can see it's a lot less noticeable I'm gonna do another layer of it after that dries but it already looks a lot less noticeable okay so you can see everything is done drying so we're gonna start by taking off this tape and then see if there's any touch-ups we need to do on any of the pieces So now the tape is on, you can see I've dropped a lot of paint where the um, tape wasn't, so thank god it's glass, so we can just scrape it off. You can see here, there's primer right there. So we're going to go ahead and clean that off now. Okay, 
You're so cute, but you don't want to lick paint. And you see, you can just scratch it right off. We're going to put all the hardware back in now. Okay, so we're putting all the shelves back in. So originally, there was three shelves on each side. Um, so they were spaced evenly. So we're going to re-space them to where there will be two even. There's 19 holes. God, can you do math for me, Lauren? What? I mean, there's 19 to holes total. Okay. <laughs> and I need two to make it even. Okay, so you need to multiply 19 by two. <laughs> yeah. 38. Or is it by three? Because there's three different sections. Maybe we're supposed to take the square root of 19. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> I think that I went to college, apparently. It's two for each for each one, right? Yeah. I think I figured it out. You got this? I think so. Nice. I'll start doing math tutorials for your videos. <laughs> okay, I'm going to drill new holes. Oh my gosh, I found a smaller one! Yeah! So you can see this is the right thickness. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oopsies. I actually went through the whole dresser. <laughs> so we're gonna have to keep this against the wall. <laughs> so this side doesn't show. <laughs> If this were to actually happen to you, you could actually just fill it with wood filler and then paint over it, but hopefully you're more professional than I am and it won't happen to you. <laughs> oh god, it's such a big hole too. Oops. Oops. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter because it's going against this wall anyway, so you can't see the hole. Here's the hole that I accidentally drilled through the sign. <laughs> but it works! You can see I forgot to paint this side, so once I'm done putting it together, I'll touch that up. Yeah! Okay, so while we're letting those that dry, we'll put the doors on. Here are the final results. Thank you for watching, even though it was a total shit show of a project, but I hope you still liked it regardless. And if you did, like and subscribe. I make videos on interior design, furniture makeovers, woodworking, etc., and post every Friday. So subscribe if you're interested. Um, and I linked all the materials down below if you're interested in any of that. And, well, thanks for watching and see you next time.